I don't know if you guys can tell how high you are, but you guys are really high right now. You guys are really high right now. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to get into the collective reading for today. What does the collective reading need to know? Oh, wait, let me, uh, I wanted to light this incense real quick. It's jasmine. So you guys, the topic is love. Ain't that crazy? I I don't know what it is, but it's about love. And we already have two cards coming out. We have the Fool in reverse and the Ten of a Cups in reverse. Oh my gosh. You guys, is this not a good love reading? I was feeling very French culture this week. Like, everything that I kept getting was reminding me of just... Ooh, okay. Uh-huh. Was just reminding me of, like... So, uh, Beauty and the Beast, for some reason, kept coming to mind. Belle. So, it's really interesting. I said a Jasmine, but it ain't no... It's not Jazzy on here. It's a love story. We're using the journey, the soul's journey again. And actually, we do have the dragons out here, too. You know, they're dragons of the heart chakra. Dragons are animals of the heart chakra. I can't speak. Um, we got honor, right? Oh, humor. We have humor in reverse. Uh, oh, snap. We have a lot. What is it? Friendship in reverse. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Empathy in reverse and death in reverse. You guys, I didn't even get a good shuffle out of this before. <laughs> I didn't even get a good shuffle out of this. We're going to get some dragons out here too. Oh, what just fell? I fell immediately. I don't even know if I should add it. I kind of want to though. It is the Golden Atlantean Dragon. I'm thinking about it. I'm not doing it. I'm just thinking about it. I'm actually going to shuffle these. So it's going back in. And if it comes out, it comes out. But yeah, so far, you guys, your reading is not looking good. This, <laughs> this energy is not cute. Okay. We have a dragon. We have the black dragon, right? Yep, the black dragon in reverse. Okay, only one dragon card wanted to come out. I don't even have a lot of space to be working, you guys. I don't know how I'm about to do this right now. You guys, it's already looking like you guys just shouldn't even be in this relationship. We have Basil in reverse. This relationship ain't going nowhere. There's no prosperity in this relationship. You guys, get out. Get out while you still can. What other card did we get? Look with me now. Fruit in reverse. This relationship is not fruitful. I'm so sorry you had to find out this way. Although something tells me you already knew. So why do you do what you do? Why stay when you're not staying true to you? Okay, let's see what these other two cards are. We have Moth Upright and Chamomile Upright. Sleepy sleep, sleepy sleepy sleep. Oh, okay. I am definitely going to pull more cards for this reading because there's just so much going on here. Oh, I was looking for this. It's one of my songs. I might start uh, getting, I might start singing this one in the studio soon too. 
because I'm almost done with my first song. I was really hoping it was going to come out in Aries season, but tell me why. Tell me why it's basically Gemini now and it's my hair. It should be, it should be out, but uh, I'm pretty sure the song is going to get finished this Thursday, which is tomorrow. Um, we have The Fool in reverse. So this is reckless, careless, negligence, stupidity, distraction, apathy, irrationality, lack of fun, hope, and faith. Um, this relationship is not fun. This relationship isn't going anywhere. And something's telling me you're really, not something, this card is telling me you're really reckless about your own happiness. Like, you guys don't care for yourself enough to just leave this relationship because obviously it's not happy it's not it's not good um you this doesn't have to resonate for everyone but you could have a whole family by now not it's not just like you and this lover but you guys have pets or children pets that you treat as children um and you know these small humans and these animals which are humans are also animals i don't know if people know that they act like i'm like yeah okay we're above animals right but let me not anyways you guys are making reckless decisions with your happiness you don't care for your own happiness and in turn you're not seeing how you're also not caring for your children's happiness you guys don't have a lot of faith in each other there could be some cheating going on. There could be some cheating going on. Uh, this humor, humor says, I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. This honestly looks like a big pentacle and it's, it's green too. Um, Anahata over here, your heart chakra, like all these green cards are closed. Every single card that has green, like a major amount of green in it, is in reverse. Let me just show you guys. You guys saw this one already. In reverse. In reverse. Basil, in reverse. Uh, you guys are stressing me out. I know y'all guys probably got some friends that are tired of giving you the same advice over and... That's what this... Your friend has no more empathy for you. Like, they're just sick and tired of telling you, girl, guy, you got to leave this person. <laughs> At this point, you're draining me. Like, no one wants to hear about your problems anymore if you're not willing to fix it. You have three times to talk about it. And then shut up. Shut up. Shut up. That's, you're driving these people insane. Like, Mad love for you, though, but bitch, I'm about to get on your ass. Okay, so this reading is definitely not, um, this reading is 18 plus. <laughs> 18 plus. Um, and that's for sure anyway, because... No kid should be having a whole family right now. Or if this was the kid, their home life is causing their friendships to, uh, is causing problems in their friendships. So I know this is the parent watching that. I'm letting you know right now, you're fucking up your kid's life. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm, I have I have no empathy for you. Honestly, like, why am I saying it like this? It's like, get your shit right. <laughs> or you're gonna get your shit rocked. My lips have green and pink in it. These are the colors of Venus and the heart chakra. I'm seeing that, like, you're taking your friendships for granted as well. Like, you're being treated horrible at home, probably by your partner. And then you're going out and, like, treating your friends and family bad, too. Uh, this is you trying to get out the anger that you can't get out on your... Uh, or, or, you know, like... I don't know. This is what you should be taking out on 
on this person. Honestly, actually, no, because you shouldn't be taking anything out on anything. You should just be dipping. Like, you need to do some introspection, death. You need to end this relationship that is causing you so much unhappiness and causing everyone around you to be unhappy, honestly. Like, you don't... Are you? Do you think that you staying in this relationship is going to be... Like, are you doing this for your, your children? Do you think that that's your children are suffering because you aren't deciding to leave and um so we have this black dragon right here it says cocooned you so that your divine potentials grow meditate reflect undergo a, me a metamorphosis but this is not what you are doing right if you're not being like you uh, have this victim mentality. Like, people are just so fed up because, like, honestly, you had so many opportunities, missed opportunities to, like, leave and do better for yourself and meditate and go within and heal from the traumatic relationship that you have. But you aren't doing this. I'm actually going to... Where's the book? Because I'm going to read deeper into that. i got to find it. Okay, so this card says, where'd it go? <laughs> where'd it go? Fifth dimensional black dragons are powerful. They only come to us when we are ready to nurture a new idea or concept that will enable our divine potential to grow. And you guys, there's no prosperity here. There's no room for growth because you are not getting rid of the old you got to get rid of the old to make way for the new and that's just not happening so basil says prosperity luck and love there is no luck in this love you know like there's there's no happiness there's <sighs> no i feel like the fed up friend right now if you're the fed up friend send this to who you think this is for um, or you're reading this and I'm your fed up friend, girly, I'm here for you, but we're only going to go through this only so many times before, you know, like, <laughs> I don't want to keep doing these readings. I know I'm probably going to, it's going to come out every so often, right? Because the, it's going to reach different people at different times as it's supposed to, but look, <laughs> so this is the fruit card. It's so pretty. There's this rune right here. I believe that's the one for light. It looks like the, uh, that, right? And Bren was telling me like, oh my God, did you mean to do that? Did you mean to put runes on your body? And I was like, no, that's really cool though. And so like, I have light on me. It's, um, this is giving like sun energy, you know, uh, success. And that is exactly what the strawberry stands for. I'm actually not sure what grapes and I believe those are blackberries and then there's also star fruit up there. That's so cool. But yeah, this is in reverse. So you <laughs> you will not find success and achievements in this relationship. Um your happiest days, probably like your wedding. Oh my god, why did I just get this? Oh my gosh, that's so sad. Um let me pull out the tarot deck again because did the collective get a shut up ring did you guys like you guys were supposed to have this big achievement in your relationship right like this big next step probably like your wedding engagement or like a child being someone bearing child but like this was actually like a terrible event for some type of reason. Was it a shut up ring? Was it like... We have the seven of wands. What? Okay, hold on. Let me um get clarification on that before. What do you mean seven of wands? We have the five of pentacles, so hold on. Okay, so with the seven of wands in reverse, I see um, quit, surrender, admit defeat, giving up, timid, 
a uh, lack of courage, a lack of control. And with this pentacles, you know, there's financial hardship, right? So um, your partner could have lost control with their spending and it put you guys in a really, really hard place. And this was probably before you guys even got married or this like big something happened. And now you guys are sort of trapped in a way because now you have to rely on each other. Five of Pentacles upright. Um, you guys probably almost faced homelessness and wanted to break up over this whole thing. It was like a big scandal. Your whole family probably knew about what was going on and everyone was telling you, like, get out of that relationship, quit, give up. But you were too timid and there was burnout. You just gave up. Um, I can't remember which one came out first, but these are the last two cards that we have. It's chamomile and moth. They're both upright. Chamomile is gentleness, relaxation, and sleep. Moth is a mystery, concealment, and illusion. Um, this is giving me very moon energy. Hold on. It's so crazy because what did I tell you guys? I saw this. It looks like a pentacle and like you guys went through some type of financial hardship. Ugh. Everything about prosperity in this reading is just so bad you guys could have a lack of security your root chakra is messed up um underactive probably closed um you should be working on that so um a way to help with that is a get rid of what is it called lack of scarcity mindset it's is what it's called okay I had to look it up because like I really couldn't remember like it was not coming to mind but yeah you guys have a scarcity mindset which you guys should do maybe you guys have like some type of joint bank account always always no no um, or if you do you know you should also have your own separate bank account try to find a way to do that maybe on the low low the moth is mysterious you know um concealment as well this is going to help give you more peace of mind the relaxation chamomile gentleness um slowly build that up until you are able to get out on your own if you can't do that immediately because i know if they are if they are up then they're definitely like they could be it in so many different ways, especially financially. I'm just seeing all of this green in reverse and prosperity and like lack of prosperity and bad luck just everywhere all over this reading. I did not expect my makeup to match with this reading. Um, you guys could be going through, this is giving me Medusa vibes. And if you know anything about like Medusa tattoos and like just the origins of Medusa, um, I know it can be taken in many different ways. The reason why she was turned into a snake, like I am getting that in a way. Um, you could have gone through sexual or uh, as well. Um, you could be wanting a Medusa tattoo. This could be your uh, confirmation to go get that. You know, even if you don't let people, I know because like people are going to see it and they're going to be like, oh, what happened to you? You don't have to tell people what happened. Um, just know that you are a survivor. You're not going to give up. And one day you will reach a pe like a peaceful life. Um, you definitely need some introspection. You need to get you and your kids, your cats, your pets away from all of this mess. Where is my cards? 
we're gonna get like deeper into how this is affecting your kids we have temperance upright okay and the star upright look at these blue cards oh Wow. Wow. So these next three cards, we have Temperance Upright, the Star Upright, and the Hierophant in Reverse. Another green card in reverse. Okay, three, four, five, I just saw. That's crazy. Um, I've been seeing that number a lot. But so the cards that I just got are for these last two. Like if you actually take these steps to have a better life for not just yourself but for your family your children are going to have more balance in their life um a more peaceful a more calm life um they're gonna start gaining their creativity back they're gonna start remembering what it's like to be a child when you know children go through really stressful times they start I saw 425. Um, I don't know why that's important. But yeah, when children go through hard times, they will start to learn how to like take care of for themselves. People will probably start calling them old souls. Oh, you're mature for your age. Oh, because I have to be. It's not because I want to, but it's because I have to. And I'm growing up faster than I need to. This is them like actually being able to enjoy their life as a kid and then we have the hierophant in reverse so um it's looking like this the relationship that they've seen their parent and their mom or dad in this abusive weird relationship they're gonna have like really interesting non-conforming relationships of their own um, it's going, this definitely is going to shape how they see their loved ones. And this is, they're going to have to like go through the generational trauma and just know that it's all a part of life. Everyone has their karmic debts and the stuff that like they just have to go through. They're probably going to be a little bit of rule breakers. Um, I see maybe just like having an emo phase if they if you want to call it that um it's not a phase for some of them and they are going to want you to accept them for who they are or they will get out of your life uh yeah i hope you guys make the right decisions for a happier you and a happier life for your children um Financial hardships won't last forever. This econ economy is like sinking though. And like, in <laughs> what is it called? Inflation. I wanted to say influation or something. Um, you know, it just keeps rising and the wages are not going up with it. <sighs> if you stay in this relationship, it's gonna fuck gonna mess your kid's head up even more. They are going to always be in like this fight or flight mode or fawn fight flight fawn or there was something else their their nervous system is never going to be regulated you know like just don't only think about what this is going to do for you but think about what this is going to do for your family you know when you decide to have children if you're yeah if you decide to be a parent you are not only looking out for yourself remember? okay i feel the need to pull more cards once you leave this relationship how is this person how is your ex going to like is your ex going to be okay 
okay is that what you, some of you guys is a problem with leaving it's like what if they hurt themselves like they're probably saying things like oh if you leave me i'm gonna i don't know we have the six of pentacles in reverse and the queen of cups in reverse okay so there's like manipulation going on oh yeah it finally comes out they are probably a cheater they're really mean they're wicked out of control with their money and yeah they're not gonna change anytime soon so you might as well just get out while you can um this person is overly sen sensitive and self-centered um and smothering and spiteful like they don't have the best wishes for you they have an abuse of power an abuse of generosity um they're not interested in investing into a happier life they just want what they want and they're bitter if they don't get it yeah so this person is going to be the same with or without you they're going to do this to you or they're going to do this to somebody else just don't let it be you you know have enough love for yourself to get out get gone because you don't deserve this babe i hope this reading helped you i hope if it resonated give it a like if you are the best friend this she they giving this to you they sending this to you because this is the last time they gonna say something about it this is the last time you're draining me at this point you are just like you're just queen of cups got love for you though i got love so do what's right for you because how you won't you're not making it easy to love you you're not like just saying friend wants to be in a relationship with people that are just as secure with themselves as they are with themselves you know and like this relationship is making someone really insecure just depressed you know needy and shoo if you keep calling me while i'm at work talking to me about this man that i hate we we gonna have something to talk about okay i said what i said i'll see you in another video have a great day. I do do personal readings, so hit me up in the description box. Everything is down below. Email, just if you want to DM me on Instagram or on TikTok.